Welcome to the channel. My name is Oskar Lehtineri and today I'm in Vaasa, Finland. And I'm actually going to meet up with a street photographer that I met online. I got interested in his art for two reasons. He took a lot of pictures of gloves. The other reason, uh, I have lived here in Vaasa and uh, I got kind of curious on when is he, when is he going to shot the houses uh, and uh, the places where I used to live. So now, today, we are going to have a discussion with this person that I have actually never met before. I just sent him a, mes him a message through Instagram and he, he agreed to this. So let's, let's see what happens. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> how do you feel about uh, getting forced to be in front of the camera? Just that, yeah, <laughs> getting forced, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much an accurate description of how I feel, yeah. All right, so... Really nice to meet you. Yeah, um, same. First off, who are you? <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Christian Lux, and um, I'm from Vasa. Basically, more or less born and raised. I wasn't born here, but I was raised here, and um, I've been shooting street for like maybe two years now, something, something thereabouts. And yeah, that's basically it. Really cool. So uh, we first when we met on the on the on the down, downtown uh, or whatever it's called in this kind of a small <laughs> small city space, yeah. uh, we realized that we have met before yep. uh, because you were working at a a like uh, movie rental place. Yep. Back in the days when you actually rented movies, yep. you didn't have. Th there were no Netflix. It was like, the, the, like the last. Um, last weeks like literally literally the last weeks of uh, VHS rentals and then we switched to all DVDs and sold out all the like like actually sold all the VHS tapes that we had but yeah yeah that was actually yeah I like the from the first day that I, I saw that you were on Instagram and took street photos I thought that um, I recognize you from somewhere so that must be yeah must that's be so it. cool because I actually I lived like 75 meters away or yeah, something exactly. so it's really close i always came came to makuni to, to like rent some and 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 buy too buy much candy, candy and stuff yeah, like exactly. that so yeah. all right so what's your nick on instagram if uh, someone yeah, wants to see uh, your art Thomas christian lux I okay thinking about like a really clever uh like a nickname or something uh, tcl like, tcl, <laughs> TCL, TCL photography yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> something like that yeah but then i decided to go with my full name so yeah so I would like to know, of course, uh, we met in a movie rental place. Has that somehow affected you oh. now taking fat photos and stuff? Yeah. Like, Oh yeah, yeah, very much so, yeah. I've been like a huge movie buff ever since I was like a little kid. Yeah, and I have a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays. No VHS, VHS tapes, unfortunately, but yeah. But uh, yeah, films are uh, like a huge inspiration for my photography and otherwise in my life. Okay, what kind of films are like you really interested in and 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 what like what what where's the mo where do you find most inspiration when thinking of like films and then how you like when you shoot the place around here and Yeah, it's probably I really like it when films take like uh, yeah, I don't think it yeah, I'm not sure if I'm talking badly about my hometown but I'm I mean I really like it when um, like films take into account like the grittiness of some places like like I really like how Fargo is shot the like the original Coen Brothers movie not the TV show even though that's great as well but um yeah I like the realness yeah and stuff like that yeah and uh, people that aren't like um, afraid to show like barren landscapes and stuff like that feels close to home to me yeah yeah and i i think that often that is kind of the the finish way yeah, of doing exactly. like like seeing world as it is and probably not always like putting on that that beautiful filter but more more like just maybe accepting that things are what they are and then through that maybe find beauty in the things when they are nice not yeah. not like create that beauty but but almost like yeah, the, just the, experience it and be like, hey, but this feels quite okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Even though it's like a frozen parking lot or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. It feels beautiful. Yeah. In, in its own way. Yeah. I actually from where from where we stand uh, over there, there's like this where the boats are over there, 
uh, I have been sitting there drinking beer with a friend 10, 15 years ago or something. And that was a moment like that. I was like, yeah. I, we were actually sitting there because we were feeling a bit down. Yeah. But then we realized the sun was setting like over there. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we realized, hey, are things that bad? We are actually, we are drinking beer. Yeah, that's exactly. We're, we're having a, a friend that we can share our like difficult thoughts with yeah. as well. So, so that, that's, exactly that, that's probably it. Like yeah. that, those moments. Yeah, yeah. There are those, yeah, those are the, the important ones, yeah. Yeah, super cool. Hey, uh, so two years ago you started yep. street. What? Why street? I'm not sure. I think I, um, like always had. I mean, yeah, I've been like photographing on and off for several years and stuff. And um, um, I've al always had like a, like an interest in like seeing different things like outside in in like okay, in na in nature but uh, like in the streets if mm. you can call it that and i like like um like different like weird connections that i'd like in a way capture even before i started street photography so it was like a pretty natural way to like move, move to that direction like pick it up as a hobby and um i was like the first times were a bit scary when i um, started shooting here but um, then I'm just like grown used to it and um, can't stop thinking about photography and street photography and stuff like that. What was scary about it? Um, probably like in Vasa because it's a pretty small city it's basically um, the lack of people so if you want to shoot people it's basically like a one-off like this and it's not like the easiest and um, not usually the best way to take pictures of people that you just like rush, <laughs> like accost a person that's just like walking down the street. And actually one of the first times I went to shoot out um, here, it was like a Sunday evening and I went to the market square or the center of town and there was like zero people. And I was like, <laughs> Typical <"Yeah>, Vasa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, but um, yeah, then uh, I've been like um, trying to be like active with um, like marking down like different events, like public things that happen here that could like gather um, some like larger amount of people here. So that's like a, a good way to like make it a bit easier um, that you when you have like a lot of people, it's like, you know, you blend into the crowd and stuff like that. But um, I mean, of course I should just like walking down the street and stuff like that but um yeah but basically it was like to answer your question um it was like like approaching people which i think is a pretty like common like issue with street photography but um, um i think it's like maybe somewhat amplified in a smaller city if that makes sense I'm, yeah i'm not sure but um yeah but yeah um when i started doing it and got over like the first hurdles and um, didn't feel anxious about like holding my camera out um, in public. I, I mean, I was completely hooked and um, hadn't like looked back since. Let's do some shooting and continue the discussion in a while. Yeah, let's do that. So when you shoot, do you do it like, do you shoot like a uh, series of photos or are you taking like one or two or how? No, I have a uh, continuous low as my... Okay, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, I, I take a series. Uh, spray and pray. Okay, <laughs> that's, all right. That's the best. All right. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when I really want to like focus on just like uh, one scene or something specific, yeah, I won't have it on. Yeah. Can you slow? But um, yeah. Otherwise, first mode is the way to go. Okay. Especially if it's like moving subjects and stuff like that, pose or something yeah. that I really like to. It's easier to grab the like the best moment. Yeah. So why Fujifilm? I see you have a Fujifilm ca camera. Is it like a choice? Yeah, I really, of course, like the look of it. Can't beat the look of a Fuji camera. The XT5. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, but I'm. I mean, I I like the raw files that I get out of it. Uh, I've been trying to uh, use only JPEGs with the uh, like with all the recipes or what whatever they're called yeah um, but I never really get like the like what I really actually want 
went with uh, images, so I just end, end up discarding all the J JPEGs and uh, use the raw files instead. Okay. But yeah, I... I have the same issue with my GR. <laughs> I, love the, I love the recipes, but uh, yeah. in, in the end I always edit stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, I like it's a small camera, rel relatively small. We were just talking about it, that it's like on the, like on the edge of being like a big like DSLR that you use, but um, it's still small and kind of compact and uh, like the Fuji, like, like the X-T5 shutter sound is really yeah. quiet, so I really like that one. Yeah, and it's also so nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But that's my, that's my baby. Yeah, cool. Remind me, uh, tell me when I'm falling off the, this... Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't about to, about to tell, you, tell you already, but um, yeah. you're good. Yeah. Cool. And this is, yeah, welcome to Vasa. No people anywhere. <laughs> One old guy is sitting on the bench. Yeah, he, and... If I was here alone and not making a big... A big fuss with uh, like I am now. Yeah. I'd probably work around like some way of shooting a picture of him. Yeah. But that's just like um, how it goes. Or I would like uh, pick up a spot like somewhere here. Or if I see like the light would be nice or something, I'd like wait and fish and just like see what if some scene would like develop or or the sun would come out like like it does oh, now. It does. This is really nice. Oh, there's people over there. Like maybe, maybe you find something there. Yeah, we can try. Yeah. And yeah, and the Vasa sign. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about the Vasa sign. I like, I hate the sign otherwise, but I like to use the individual letters as like foreground and then frame subjects behind it. And uh, we can check and see if we can get any good ones today. Get some tacky photos with someone in the heart. Holding hands. <laughs> so, do you fear shooting like, like at least me when I'm in Vasa or somewhere like this? Uh, I was in Lapfjad yesterday, and uh, which is like a really, really small place. So, the, my problem is I can't shoot people because they see that I actually shoot them. But when I'm, for instance, on the mark, like down downtown here, yeah. there's at least so many people. Or if I'm with someone, uh, then you can kind of cover it up so that no yeah, one sees that you're... Yeah, it's actually easier to be with someone yeah. to shoot. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, I actually, some of my favorite shots I've <laughs> taken like with my partner and she's like walking beside me and I'm like talking to her. Yeah, shooting something she's else. Shooting something else. Yeah, uh, actually I saw one one street, street photographer. Uh, he shot, he, he was out walking with his wife and uh, and he, he he asked her to stand at like there was some cool light, yeah. so he, I, he asked her to stand stand at one point and with her some like shopping bags yeah. blocking the way so that it forced the people beside beside like her to uh, to walk into the light. Yeah, exactly. And then he yeah. just sat like beside it and and they just sto stood there for like 15 minutes shooting people that walked by, yeah. and and that's how they kind of. They kind of manipulated yeah. the situation. It wasn't like someone would probably say that, "Hey, is that real street?" Of course, it is real street. There's no rules to that. But but anyways, kind of manipulated the the, yeah. the people walking by that that they would walk into the into the into the frame and into yeah. the light. We've had like a huge issue with uh, people um, like bending all these street lamps and street signs. But I kind of like the like the lamp. Because it's like... Oh yeah, the post is like... To, or is it called lamp post? I think so. Probably, yeah. yeah. And it's totally in line with this A. It looks... F <laughs> yeah, that was actually... I got the two people eating ice cream back there and um, then the lamp post was like tilted. Yeah, it makes it much, much more interesting. Yeah. That's a super cool scene actually. Yeah. If I had a camera... <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch? <laughs> no, I'm quite good. I, I think this is very fun. What's your opinion about chimping? Do you ever do it? Chimping, what was that again? Like checking your photos after you... I, I almost every 
like I, I do check my photos. Yeah, 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 yeah I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, I take a few ones. I, I never burst, but I take a few yeah. ones, and then I check them through and yeah. see if like something good came out. Yeah, you uh, like yeah. And I love it when I'm depending on what I'm shooting on. Now, yeah. with, I'm filming with the R5 right now, yeah. the Canon. And uh, there, it's very good to watch through the viewfinder yeah, because it's digital, so you can actually see really good. Yeah, like, exactly. but with the, the electronic viewfinder, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's super for that. But with the with the Rico, mm, maybe a bit less. I don't. Yeah, exactly. I just shoot and see yeah. and and then check. Dip, like depends, depends yeah. of course. But I, yeah, I really don't understand where the all the. I think people people just want to be like into like it, it, I probably like the idea of that you should be like like there's like a, a status uh, pyramid yeah. where the people shooting film are yeah. on top yeah, exactly. and people who like try to shoot film uh, like digital like it was would be like like it like it's film yeah. they are quite they try to be higher on that yeah. pyramid or yeah. hierarchy which I find totally stupid yeah. because. You know, shooting is shooting. You do it, yeah. and the, the idea is is not how you like. Of course, for me, process is the whole thing. I, I care more about your the ideas that you have than what you create. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but in my opinion, uh, I think uh, if we only focus, if we do something because it looks to someone else better, or how or we think about what would other people think? Oh, that guy, he's real because he's not looking at his pictures. Yeah, exactly. That's just stupid because yeah, if you get a kick off out of your own pictures, yeah. then you're doing something right. Exactly. And that's what you should, like, in my opinion, at yeah. least, uh, that you should like chase. Yeah. You should chase that good feeling yeah, exactly. that makes you want to go out again and take more of these, yeah. like just shoot. Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, now I'm falling. <laughs> yeah, reflections are the best. It's quite tricky. I'm filming with a 50mm lens today because I didn't bring my 16 to 35, which is my go-to when I film. <laughs> but I didn't. So, so I, I, I feel like everything is very tight. But that's how I shoot like photos. I, I shoot 50. It's, 50 and 40 with the Rico, yeah. so I, I can't go go wider than that yeah, exactly. to, yeah. to feel comfortable. The equivalent, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting how you get like used to something. I yeah, bought exactly. my first like Canon 50, like the cheap one, the f 1.8, yeah. for 120 euros back in the days. Yeah. Had it for years, then it broke. Then I bought, bought another one. I uh, shouldn't fall from this <laughs> pier again. <laughs> Uh, uh, and then, I think this is my third or fourth one. I, I'm yeah, just, exactly. I'm just buying them because they are cheap, yeah. and they, they're good enough. Yeah. And and you get, uh, you get like, I, I really just love the, the, I love the 50. Yeah. Did you get the the woman and the child? <coughs> yep. I, I thought that they had like it was so summer, <laughs> very much yeah. summer vibe, very much. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think the kids saw something in the water and wanted the mo mother to come and look. At yeah. yeah, it was a nice scene. All right, hey, we're 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 by a playground, so we thought we would find some. I think you you actually knew there would yeah. be some gloves around yeah. here. I'm not hanging around the playground. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, just just <laughs> stating the stating that. Uh, but yeah, I, I see I see something. Yeah, these have these have been at least in one of my Instagram stories. Um, I actually posted like one Instagram story from for, of a like a glove that I found on the ground in the winter and. Uh, like all of my followers, people I didn't even know were like really happy about them, so I just kept kept going, and I got like more comments for the gloves than I did for like like my actual photography that I actually like you spend a lot of hours doing. So which was pretty pretty ironic and funny, but um yeah, those so, those have been on my Instagram stories like for. But a but of why ago. why? Um, I think it's just like a an interesting um, depiction of like what it looks like 
around here. Um, yeah, and like the like the sheer amount of gloves and like beanies and stuff that people lose during the winter, I think it's like amazing. And yeah, I just kept it going and um, probably have to start soon because it's getting colder. It's not cold now, but it's mm. getting colder. So. There was this, uh, I actually, I got inspired, like, as I said in the beginning, I, I found your account, two reasons, uh, like the houses and, and me lived here before all that, and then, and then the glass. Uh, and um, so, so, uh, so, so yeah, about the gloves, I saw this video, I think it was one of the walkie talkies on, from this one YouTuber on, uh, yeah, like from, Polly B, yeah, yeah, from from uh, the st from the states, from yeah. New York, and he met up with this dude called like Kevin or something, yeah. and he he collected trash in in a in a in a, in a container <laughs> yeah. where he, which was also his office, and and I I had like kind of like similar thoughts around your glove shots and yeah. his idea of of uh, of like just shooting, I I think he said it like really well. He said it like. I'm not interested in going to a party to shoot it. I'm interested in to visit the party when it's over yeah, and shoot yeah, the yeah. the rem remains yeah, of like the party, <coughs> like what people leave behind in leave a way. Behind. Yeah, like I mean, it's as interesting to shoot like the first of May festivities in town when there's a lot of people. But I think it's really interesting to be there like when it's all over and people leave like everything behind. I think it's really interesting. I love the the Polly B episode you mentioned, I think it was really... really One of the best, I think. Yeah, there was yeah. some deeper philosophy yeah. around how we are as people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I, agree. I actually, I, I can link it, uh, link to the, I had some thoughts on it in, a, a, in another episode mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and more of that and also the link probably to the, to the episode because I think it's very interesting yeah. and, and I've, this is what I would say like is so interesting about street photography now there's like this thing coming, so there's a bit of noise. Not even leaving, but it looks good on film. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so, so that was one of my favorite episodes. I think like <clears throat> stuff like this is like so interesting because I mean, you can't like, if I came here and had like gloves on me or something, it wouldn't look the same if I put them on there. So no. I, think, I think there's like, um, some like weird magic when it's like something that you find and it's like been put in that place and then you like use your camera to interact with the, like the whatever it is if it's gloves or trash or something i come from a background of like a lot of like documenting a lot of street photog uh, street street art and also i made a lot of street art during the times i lived in in vas actually also and one thing that i found like super interesting was that uh, when I put something out, let's say I, I have put those gloves there, uh, my idea of why I do it kind of is still there, yeah. but when you see it, yeah. you maybe see something completely, completely different. different yeah. You may, may not like it, you yeah. may like it, you might be like, hey, wow, maybe someone lost their, like one of their gloves and, uh, and, and found another one. Yeah. Or or maybe someone lo maybe someone will come by and say like, hey, I'm cold. They are not the same, but I can take them. Yeah. And so kind of uh, trash objects they create a story. Yeah. Um, and 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 that's and that's what I find interesting in many ways that that we create new stories out of things, but also by by putting stuff out there, for instance, photography on, on online. Yeah. Beep. You kind of, I, I think it might, it, sometimes I even feel uh, it can be a bit scary because you can see so much. I, I put, post something, let's say I, yeah, today I posted a photo of a, uh, of a house full, like they full, full of, like there was birds on the house roof and all that. And, and, and I saw like some horror, like <laughs> house, like something from a, like an old, or maybe some, some really B movie kind of horror yeah, exactly. stuff like. And, and that's what I saw. Yeah. But then, of course, when I put it out, there might be people seeing totally different yeah. things. And, uh, and, and even more scarier, actually, when I have had uh, photo exhibitions, uh, people see something and, and I'm like, ah, you see that? 
Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, exactly. And so, 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 so in a way, I give away my right to, to my, to my, to my work in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah. I, my right to, to, to my opinion on yeah. my work because you can have you, you're, you're free to have your yeah. opinion yeah, around I, it. I, I saw the picture you're talking about yeah. that you posted, and I think it just looked like an, like almost like an idyllic kind of like a old timey kind of like picture of the countryside. Yeah. And stuff like that. I didn't get the horror. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah. And there was someone commenting also, like, no, it's like totally like from some horror movie or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and so we can see totally different yeah. things. Yeah, but that's basically how like any cultural media or art works, yeah. basically. Yeah. So I have a question to you mm -hmm. or for you. Let's say you shoot a glove, you shoot something nice, a house, blah blah blah, something. Uh, what is it in a picture? Uh, that makes you want to come out again and and do new things. What what's that thing that makes your stomach like, hey, wow, I love this. Wow, I I'm proud of my work. Or what 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 kind of things are there? Or what, or what feeling? Is it a feeling that you're looking for, or, or a process, or what? How is it with I you? I think it's a feeling. And I, <clears throat> I mean, some of the like the joy that I get from from shooting here in Vasa is basically that I'm. Um, it's like my hometown and I I mean it's so familiar that I'm I mean I could like close my eyes and walk home like hit the door code and <laughs> everything and um, it wouldn't be a problem so I think it's like uh, made me appreciate like really mundane scenes and I really like courtyards here in Vasa with all the like the flowers and um, um, how people try to make it like look really nice and I mean I'm not saying it's it doesn't look nice but I mean it's like um, people give like a different spin to these like familiar landscapes and I think we don't like appreciate it enough if that makes any sense but um yeah maybe you have to like very often we have to go away to see something else and then come back and be okay. like wow this yeah, exactly. this part I really loved about this town yeah. that otherwise might be really boring yeah, or exactly. totally dead during winter or something yeah, like that yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah but for me it was like my camera and when I started shooting I started like paying closer closer attention to like my surroundings and mm. uh, not only people but like the landscape and details in the landscape and stuff like that so so appreciation on some level on some level yeah I'd say something like that if that makes any sense yeah I think it does yeah, yeah because it makes you of course be in the moment yeah. Like seeing those gloves or seeing whatever yeah. beautiful shadow on a wall or yeah, something exactly. like that. Yeah. yeah, we are coming towards the end of this, but this thing. But uh, one of the the other reason I actually started following you was that uh, I have lived here, as I said, and you haven't taken any pictures of the houses or two of the houses that that I have lived in, and we are actually very close to both of them right now. So uh, I want to give you a small small short challenge. And the challenge is, since I have lived in that house over there, uh, where's my finger? There, that's, that, that's where I lived. That was my window up there, back in the days. Uh, and then I lived in that house over there, eh, there. Uh, and those were the windows I lived in then, back in the days. Uh, or I didn't live in a window, but I lived there. Uh, so I want to give you a small challenge of shooting Two shots, uh, one of one, one one of each house that you kind of like, so that so that so that I can continue on following you and seeing like <laughs> like getting these nostalgic nostalgic feelings yeah. about hey that's that's the place where I used to live. Okay. So how do you how would you like to do this challenge? Challenge accepted. <laughs> I have to keep on to my followers, so I have to have to do it. But yeah, let's go and take a look. I have my 50 mil, which isn't. Always the perfect if you want. Not for houses, no. Good houses, but um, I think we can make it work. No, I really like the the images of houses and how you portray them. Like, I, I think it's. Yeah, and, and that's often what happens when you live in a town where there's not much people all the time. Yeah. Uh, so so I thought it would be cool to see like what, <laughs> how how would you portray my old homes. You know, I actually like that. <laughs> uh, 
I'm always looking like if I look at houses I like like have to stop saying like like yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, like diagonals a lot so. yeah I do that too yeah the shapes and all that yeah. and, and and how they play with with each other and something that I find really fascinating are the like the letters on houses <laughs> yeah or <clears throat> and like like these um, like the regular like concrete houses or anything when you have like the street name and then the number I think those look really nice. So I probably like try and take the letter and make it like some kind of weird yeah. I think I got a few shots. Cool, nice. Looking forward to see how they turned out. But you, of course, as a viewer, can probably see them right now. So. <laughs> oh, it's so cool how the sun comes out. Look at that, look at, look at that over there. If someone would somehow magically appear. <laughs> I love when sun comes like around the corner like this. Yeah. It looks so cool. Yeah. Oh, you look really good in this frame, wow. Yeah, I got it really. You have good, li good lighting on you and I got you between the trees, so it looks, looks really cool. Yeah, but I think that's it. Okay, so you got a shot about, shot, shot, shot from up, like something from that house. Yeah. Something. What were you focusing on when you... <clears throat> no, basically I framed it like, I, like the little window things on the roof. Yeah. So I kind of like framed it like that. Yeah, do you like to play with the sky and how the how it makes the negative space? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then I like how it's basically pretty dark here. And then I took one with the uh, like the brighter house behind it. Yeah. You get like a nice diagonal and like these like these straight lines and then the diagonal and then it continues like makes like this nice shape. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. If you like the video, like like this video, or if you have some person, if you if you feel like me doing a video of of you who is watching this, like just buy me the tickets, airplane tickets. I'll come and I'll make the video. <laughs> no, but it, it it was fun meeting you. Thank you very much uh, for this. Uh, please go follow this guy, Thomas Christian Lux, which is very uh, easy, 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 easy Instagram name. name. But I'll link it, and uh, and yeah, thank you for being to do it, do, doing this for me and with me uh, today. Sure. Take care. Really nice. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Hey, don't give up your daydream. <laughs>